first off, what what happened out here tonight? Well, you want to go over and show you where it happened by my tractor? Well, I just need to know what happened. What happened? Well, I was Unless there's some kind of evidence there. Marks on the ground, maybe he's all. Okay. Yeah, I lost my hat there. Anyway, I just took my chainsaw off because it's getting dark. Okay. I was cutting a little firewood. Okay. And I didn't hear him come up to me. But he grabbed me by his left shoulder and swung me around. His first hit, I think, was here, and then I went down on the ground, and I crawled under the, a little bit under the back of my tractor to keep him from hitting me much more, because he wasn't hitting me in the body. He was just trying to hit me in the head and in the shoulders. Okay. And he kept pulling me out, and he said he's going to kill me, and he said he was going to kill my daughter and the grandkids. Okay. They live in Chicago, but they come here quite often. Okay. And uh, he hit so, me about 30 times. Okay. Did he hit you? Was it just with a fist or yeah. was it a just stick a or anything else? Just his fist. Just his fist. Okay. He didn't even know enough is, to double it up hard. Is is there a, a history of bad blood between you two or? Yes. Okay. I, but I haven't even spoke to him in probably three, four years. Okay. Where does he live at from here? Very next house, right next door. Okay. Okay. So you are on your property. Oh yeah. Okay. How, how much property do do you have back here? I got twenty acres. Twenty acres. Okay. Yeah. So you drove your tractor back there, and I'm just going back over this. So let let me pull the car over here, and then yeah, we'll... she'll be home any minute. She will... So you were caught for about forty five minutes. You'd shut your chainsaw off. I did shut it off. Made virtually a second before he grabbed my shoulder and spun me around. Okay. So you were facing away. You never seen him coming. No, never seen he him. He just ever. grabbed you by your left shoulder. Yeah. And then spun so, you around. Yeah. And said. Uh, I'm going to kill you. Okay. He said he's going to kill you. It, it, it is. He was hitting me. He said, I'm going to kill you. And I'm going to kill your daughter. And I'm going to kill your grandkids. Okay. He says, I just found out I got prostate cancer and I'm going to die. Okay. So, but, so he said that, that stuff and then started punching you? Well, he was already punching me then. Okay. He said that he's punching and then he said that at least once, maybe twice more. Okay. So when he first grabbed you and spun you around, at that point, did he say, I'm going to kill you and then started punching you? Well, I, I guess I really can't say for sure, which was first was all about the same time. Yep. Okay. I mean, but, was, but there was, was no, but there was no other conversation. No, no. Just no. grabbed you, turned around, and just started beating started on you, punching. and hit you approximately twenty-five to thirty times. Yeah. Okay. And during that time, during while he was hitting you, is what you're saying that he was saying he was going to kill you. And hurt your family and stuff. You kill me, kill my daughter, and kill he. That's yep. the words he used. Okay. Kill. Yep. Yep. So, what happened after he stopped? Did he stay there? or Did he just take off? He just let let go of me, and stood up, and walked away. Walked back in his yard. Okay. Hi. Hi, Greg. How you doing, sir? Oh, okay. Angry. Come in. All right. Yeah, why don't you, we'll just stay out here and talk for a second. Oh, um, I have a small dog. He's right here. Oh, jeez. You want to put him back in first? Yes. All right. Yeah, what's your name? I'm Deputy Weekly of Van Buren County Sheriff's Weekly. Office. What's your first name? Gabe. Gabe. Okay. Bravo. I already know why you're here, but you want to come in? No, I just I'll stand outside and talk with you. Okay. You want to put your dog in? So yeah. Okay. All right, Greg. So you say you know why I'm already here. Mm -hmm. So what started this tonight? Well, good question. Uh, neighbor is 
is always making noise over next to my house. I'm tired of it. We don't get along. Okay. It's been going on for, well, since I moved in here. Okay. And it's not going to go away. I'm hoping in my heart that I outlive him. Okay. But as far as tonight, what... What what made you go over there and... I would say... <clears throat> he's always doing things to annoy me, which, which, which will go on forever. I mean, I moved in here. He was already here. Him and his wife. We've had... Property line disputes, and he he just likes to be right up in my business. I feel like you know to me. Okay. So if I was gonna tell a judge, <laughs> if I have to go in front of a judge, <clears throat> he has 18 acres. He's always right in my face. That's why I put up a fence, and he's right there. And. Uh, Mm. So to, just always right. So always tonight, right there. So tonight, can you explain to me the events that exactly? I mean, uh, I've already got his side of the story too. Yeah. So just just tell me what happened. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So, so you were in the house. Start out here. You were in the house. Chainsaw running over there, right next to my house. I don't know where you live, how you live, right next to my house. You know, the guy's got eighteen eight. I think he likes to annoy me, and I would tell a judge this. Okay. But but the events the events tonight. Let's stay on oh, that path. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> it is right there. Just in the middle of the night, <clears throat> just before dark, running his chainsaw, and um, it, it's I take it personally because the man has 18 acres he could he could chop all kinds of trees mm -hmm. down he um he does but not like me we're, we're we hate we're, each other we're we hate each other we're veering off the path of tonight though okay, okay. um we hate each so other the, so and i punched him in the face okay so did you we talk did you other. talk to him at first did you guys have a conversation or did you just go over mm -hmm. grab a hold of him turn him around and start beating no on him? no um no we do not speak okay we do not so speak. you didn't you didn't it, speak at all. You just walked up, grabbed it's, him. It's, um, no, we do speak, but this has been going on for twenty years. Okay. He's he's. I hate him. He hates me. Okay. That's why there's a fence there. Okay. But and I'm talking. I'm, now we're veering I, I off that path my, again. I lost my temper. Okay. Okay. And I went and and I went and uh, yeah. Okay. I'm tired of it. And I told him, okay, so I'm retired. Okay. I have no children. He has kids. He has grandkids. I told him, I know you see this on TV all the time, I will take them. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. So you're saying okay. Like, stop doing this. You've got 18 acres, man. You're doing this. So he's aggravating, <laughs> agitating me. I know you know how this goes. You probably, mm -hmm. It's a property dispute. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when I go, I have prostate cancer. When okay. I go, guess who's going to go with me? <laughs> guess what? who's going to go with me? I'm going to die of cancer anyway. Okay. I, I'm just putting my rubber band on. So I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but is that where some of this is coming from tonight? Mm -hmm. So you've yeah. got the prostate cancer, and you figured, mm -hmm. I'm going to go over and put an end to this tonight? And you mm -hmm. went over there? Not and... yet. Not yet. I, I would like him to stop. Okay. I, I, if you talk to him, if you go back, what's your name again? Deputy Weekly. Weekly. Okay. If you go talk to him again, I would like him to s stay away from me. Okay. If he does not stay away from me, we're both going to go up there. Okay. And, Is that, and are you, so him, are you threatening him? him um, uh, I can't really. I mean, I don't know how I do So here's it. the deal. So, like, this line right here, okay? 
he owns this, you own this, right up to the, right up like as tight as water, right? Yes. So he has, he pays taxes on this, right? And you pay taxes on this, right? Yes. So he has, he can come right up and cut every blade of grass right up to your, right up to your line. He can make as much noise, he can do whatever. There's no noise ordinance. There's nothing. He can do whatever he wants on his property, okay? Can I? So, yeah, you can too. You're, can as long I as you're on a, your can property. I, can I put up a stereo and, and play rap music? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Just drive him nuts? If you want to be one of those guys I don't and then deal to. with it, you know? But that's how I feel, Deputy. <laughs> that's how I feel. Okay. Like, um... Could I put up a fan? Could I start a bonfire? But the thing is, is you already put up a fence, okay? Yes. You put up a fence. He was on his side of the fence tonight, right? Yeah. And you walked around your fence. Yes. And you walked up, and you grabbed him by the shoulder, turned him around, mm-hmm. and you you started smoking him, right? How many, how many times did you hit him? 25, 30 times, maybe? No. Probably five or six. Like, you're not even supposed to hit your neighbor once. Okay. Okay. Look, I hate the guy. I want him to die. Okay. So were you? And I'm trying was, to. Was your attempt? Him. Was your attempt tonight to kill him? No. I just want him to stop. He. I know he's screwing with me. Okay. Which I know you can't legally. You can screw. So <clears throat> I'm going to pull up my car tomorrow. Let's say tomorrow. And I'm going to blast out some rap music as loud as I can with my speakers. Okay. And I'm just going to blast it at his house. He probably would not like that. We basically hate each other. He wants me to die. I know he does. I want him to die. Um... But okay. I can't do, I so, can't so as far as this. so, can I so here we've him? here we've legally. How can I here him? we've went? You can't. <laughs> Other than outlive him, you can't. Okay. I hate that man. So here's the deal. So what you're telling me is tonight you were in the house. He's over there cutting wood. You got irritated. Yes. You walked over there. You grabbed a hold of him and you yes. you punched him multiple times. Yes. Was he fighting back or was he trying to get away from you? He was trying to get away from me. Okay. You have to say everything legal. I understand. No, I'm just, I'm trying to get us what actually happened. That's what, that's what I'm here for. Okay? Well, it's your job. Yep. I get it. Okay. So, Greg, at this point right now, what I'm going to do is I want you to turn around, put your hands behind your back Mm -hmm. for me. I want you to interlace your fingers. Interlace your fingers like you're praying. I will. No. Interlace your fingers like you're praying. Oh. Well, well, um. You like the door. Yeah, the just dog. a second. Keep your hands right there. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm more worried about the dog. Okay. Where's your wife at? She's at Cedar Point. At Cedar Point? Yeah, she's at Cedar Point. All right. <laughs> Greg, how much have you had to drink tonight? Uh, let's see. Uh, enough. How much? How much would you say is enough? Uh, five, six shots. Five or six shots. Yeah, but I know you guys double it, so. No, we don't double nothing. It is what it is. Oh, the doctor does. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pat you down, Greg. Okay. okay. You don't have any knives on you? No. Nothing weapons. on you? Nope. Nope. No guns. No explosives. Uh, no nothing. What's your first name again? Gabe Weekly. Okay, okay, all right. This is your wallet with your... I think I've seen you before. Um, Jeez, I get the pop-off paper and... uh, What's the muscle? Would you you at least lock the back door? What are these? Hmm? Oh, mints, not drugs. (laughs) Can I have one? (laughs) Okay, you're doing your job. Oh, my wife's going to be so mad. Could you, will you, Gabe, lock the back door? Yep, I'll lock it for him. Okay. On the inside, you just lock it. Oh, she's going to be so mad. Anyway, she might not know. Okay. All right. 
walk back here with me. Mm -hmm. Walk back here yep. to my car. I'll, mm -hmm. Then I'll come back here and lock up your thing, your door. Okay. Oh god, this is so embarrassing. Anyway, so do you ever see stuff about property disputes? Because I talked oh, to yeah. a counselor and they asked me. Central eight one eight. Keep walking. Okay. So One may only pass today. I think, sometimes I think if I take him with me. What's that? I have prostate cancer. Do you? Yeah, if I take him, him, yeah. who's, what are you going to do? What? Why are you going to take him? Oh, because I'm going to die anyway. Okay. Yeah, and so take him, yeah. That's what I wanted him to know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, and actually, after you yep. let me go... Walk a little, little bit further. <laughs> okay, right there. After you let me go, now I'm really mad. Okay. Um, so I might just go ahead and take him. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and put uh, your butt in there and swing your feet in. That's the <laughs> easiest way to do it. Are you allowed to... <laughs> okay, put your butt just, in. You're just doing your job. Ow! Ow! You're just doing your job. Anyway, next time I see you, I'll probably be in a coffin, and so will he, which I'm planning on. Will you lock the back door, please? Yes, I told you I'm going to go back and lock, Thank lock you. the door, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. I care more about the dog than I do myself. <laughs> do you understand each of these rights I have explained to you? Yes, I do. Okay. Yep. Having these rights in mind... Do you wish to talk to me now? Mm, sure. You had this I'm stuff on. Sorry. I'm not being sarcastic. Hey, you had this stuff on your keys. The stuff can't go in the jail. Do you want me to just throw it away? Uh. -uh. Oh. What? I'm not taking it. What? It can't come in the jail. Oh. Okay, that's up to you. I trust you. All right. 